Hello and welcome to this video covering the arpeggiator in the Audio Reward product Brood. Uh, the arpeggiator in Brood uh, comes originally from uh, our work on a product called Formation um, and is an enormously powerful tool for arpeggiator and sequence type effects. The concept of the arpeggiator is to use a different approach than uh, what you might call classic synth arpeggiators, which will only play the notes that you held down and only play them uh, in turn. Um, here, uh, you can play up to eight notes, um, and each note has its own little uh, up to 16 track sequence. So this is probably best demonstrated rather than explained. So um, I've just got this sound loaded. So if I turn uh, the arpeggiator on and hold one note, we'll get this sequence. And then in note two, we'll, <clears throat> excuse me, get this. Note three gives us this. And note four, this. And so on. Okay, so each of these channels, uh, you can set the number of steps between four steps and 16. Um, turn it on. And set the tempo here. All the way up to one bar. Um, you can load uh, a bunch of different presets to get you started um, and you can copy uh, a particular set of values uh, you can copy and paste so uh, they can be moved between each of these and if we do this, we should get something quite, at least on the 16th, then probably quite interesting. Down the bottom here are a set of global controls for managing how each step is played. Uh, you can set the note length for each step to equal the step size or to be uh, anything from a 30 second all the way up to a bar. Um, you can transpose the uh, the, the note that's being played, so we can do that. 
And uh, each of these values in turn is stepped through based upon uh, a tempo. So if we leave the notes all, uh, not length at all, that uh, uh, equal to step, and I'll just change a few of those kind of randomly, and we should get something different. <laughs> Uh, you can lock uh, these so they're uh, when you change the first one you get the the value repeated in the other seven uh, next there's uh, a set of question marks uh, which are for randomization so anybody who has that turned on you can click the randomize button and you get a, a different kind of randomize uh, number of steps and the tempo so <laughs> different stuff. Um, you can set the target range of notes. So you can um, have the art play at some lower part of the keyboard and play normally at the top. Uh, you can load um, a whole bunch of art presets and obviously uh, save uh, a whole bunch of your own presets. It's quite a powerful tool, quite useful and quite original. Uh, watch out for the next video, which will be on the send effects. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.